And we went, we went up to, to Manchester and we're sitting in a hotel in the morning. And we're talking about how we're going to play. There's about six or seven of us, you know. We're going to do this, got to do this, got to do that, you know. You've got to stop this pillar, Brian Douglas, you know. Make him come on the inside, don't let him go down the line. So, 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 so. We were talking about all different things like that. And Noel said to me, how do you think we do it today? I said, we win today. He said, you always say we're going to win. <laughs> so I said, we win today. I said, it's a great day. It was a lovely day, sunny. I said, there'll be 50,000 there. I said, play out. It's going to be terrific. So we go there and we play. And I think Harry Hooper scored the first goal for us. It was one each at half time. And it goes into the second half. And I don't know who scored it. I don't know where Eddie Lewis scored or not. But anyway, we scored. We, we went 2 1 in front. It was two each. It goes into extra time. We're playing an extra time. We're really playing well. And we're, we're on top. We're better than them, you know. It's two each. It's two each. Anyway, long ball went up to Jackie Dick. He pulled it down. He beat Ronnie Clayton on the edge of the box and he smashed it in the top corner of the net. A minute to go. Absolute silence in the ground. 50,000 there, not a word. And this big docker stood up and went, Bye! Bye, Blackburn! <laughs> <laughs> now that, that, that is what you call it. Support. And, and I went home and I was going home after the game, you know. I thought, that guy was magnificent. Yeah. You know, what All on his own. On his own. We had, we had about 100 supporters there, 49,900 there. <laughs> we used to start, we started having meetings of, together and looking at our training programs and as, as John said about going back in the afternoon, we go back and always practice, just four or five of us. If you wanted to come back, you are welcome. If you didn't, if you weren't interested, nobody said anything to you. So we became the groundsman nightmare around here because the ground was always very heavy and tacky. But then we started to look at what times we should train and whether we should train in the afternoons, late in the week. We brought in the introduction of a guy coming to do weights, some weight training to develop strength or body strength or else it, whatever deficiency you might have. We also got a first physiotherapist um, who was outside of the, because our training, the trainer was as they used to be, just an old player with no qualifications, no qualifications whatsoever. We had a dear old trainer who played in the 1923 22. Cup final, yeah. uh, Billy Moore, and the, the story is told, and I, we can all relate to it, if you ask for a massage, you were injured, Billy would have a cigarette in his mouth, and he'd be blowing the ash onto you, and he'd burn you, sometimes fellas came out of the middle, so consequently you decided not to go in there for a massage or anything like that, so we got a fellow called Bill Jenkins, wasn't it? He had a, a, a place around the corner right. here, so we, we asked Ted and convinced Ted that we should have a, a full-time physio at the ground, and he was one of the first, and he, we got him to join, and we, we modified Malcolm again, you know, uh, the, the, the strip was drowsy and dull and long heavy. shorts and heavy, and their big shin pads, so we got away from all that, we decided, there's a story, I remember one time we got a new strip very early in the season, probably for the first league match at home, and it had long sleeves, and as used to happen in early in the season, the weather was fantastic, it was in the 80s, so Malcolm decided, Ted Fenton was up in his office, Malcolm decided, he asked Billy Moore for the scissors, so he says, yeah, oh yeah, Malcolm, gave him the scissors, Malcolm cut the sleeves off every shirt, so w when, when Ted Fenton came down and looked, he didn't say anything, he thought, well, just leave, him, let him get on with it, <laughs> so we went out with short sleeves, when we, when we should have had long sleeve shirts, <laughs> lots of things happened there. Yeah. Well, we, ch we changed actually, we changed the style of football gear, hmm. you know, because we wore short shorts and then we, had, we got lightweight boots, you know, yeah. and, uh, and that was when Adidas had just invented the soft toe hmm. and Ted, Ted Fenton had a sports shop hmm. and uh, Adidas came over and spoke to Ted Fenton and said, uh, Ted, we want you to represent us, you know, for this soft toe. He said it'll never take off. Never take yeah. off, he said. But you just have to get the hammer, didn't you, when you put 